Hey, what's up guys? With all the talk lately of 4K, HDR, Dolby Vision, all these different things with resolution, I kind of want to take a little bit of a step back and go back to 1080p for a second. And more importantly, I want to go back to 3D. 3D is being left out of most of the displays. I'm not sure how many are going to have it in the year coming. I know the Z9D from 2016 has it and maybe a couple of the OLEDs still have it, but they're pretty much phasing it out. And considering Sony, kind of started with 3D with a lot of their displays. Samsung doesn't have it anymore. You're getting the feeling that it's no longer going to be part of home theater. And in some ways, what's the big deal, right? I mean, not many of us really enjoyed 3D. It never really transferred well home, in my opinion, simply because, one, it was extremely expensive initially. The glasses were about 100 bucks each. And if you remember, there was a ton of crosstalk um, the image was fuzzy because the resolution dipped down below 1080p to split for the eye. You know, the resolution was split between both eyes. The glasses were clunky. If you moved your head the wrong way, you lost the image. A lot of things were in the way. Also, the production companies kind of tacked 3D on instead of using it natively, which caused problems as well. So what you're looking at here is some 1080p 3D Blu-rays. You can still buy them. They actually still come out in a lot of releases uh, some of my favorites are Lion King, Pacific Rim is phenomenal, Star Wars is amazing, Avatar, Unreal, Zootopia, Ant-Man, I have the Avengers over there. Some of these IMAX ones are fantastic. And even these glasses you can pick up on Amazon now. These are the ones that you uh, plug the little mini USB in. I think they were 10 bucks each. And you can find them. If you guys are interested in it, I'll put the information in another video. But I just kind of want to do a fun little, you know, different video away from 4K and even gaming. So, what TV am I using this for? And I do have an older Sony LCD that's 3D. And it just really never looked good in 3D. So the kids and I never really bothered watching it. It wasn't until we moved up to a 1080p projector that we really saw what 3D could really do at home. And this is, you know, my bedroom, windows are open, and there's the projector. This is an Optimum, or Optima, I should say. It's full 1080p, 3D, 2 HDMI, and it's not bolted to anything. It's literally sitting on top of my bed, and the game systems, you know, PS4, Xbox One, are underneath the bed. There's some more windows. And if you guys have a decent sized wall, that's your image. Full 1080p. The little wavering you're seeing is just the camera, but it's enormous. And it's amazing how 1080p, when it's not in pixels and it's done by a projector, the 1080p resolution is phenomenal. Standard definition DVDs look fantastic. Right now what you're looking at is a 200 inch image. I'm going to walk in front of it quickly. You can see closet door. It looks unbelievable. And projectors were always ridiculously expensive and out of reach for most of us. Now that 4K projectors are coming out, they're a couple thousand dollars. You can grab that projector for $400. And it is unbelievable. My daughter has the camera, and just so you can see the size of the screen, 200 inches. If it goes back further, it can get a little bit larger, but typically 175 inches is what you're looking for. But the clarity is amazing. It's not even on the screen, it's on the wall. So it's a very good option. Thank you, sweetheart. What I'm trying to say, guys, is for home theater, as more 4K devices come out, a 1080p projector, you don't need to bolt it to anything. Literally set it up on a, you know, on a bench or something, on a chair. Shoot it on the wall. You can make screens. Screens are very cheap now. And like I said, 1080p out of a projector is plenty clear. You don't need HDR. You can pick up all these 3D movies and the glasses for very, very cheap and have an amazing home theater experience in your garage or downstairs. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Take care as always, and I will talk to you soon.